What's up everybody? Welcome back to Max Grill Shack. My name is Shane and today we are firing up the Gosney Dome. We're going to make a New York style pepperoni using nothing but charcoal for our fuel. It's going to be delicious so stick around. I got my Jealous Devil Lump charcoal here, my Flamers uh, fire starters. So uh, let's build a fire. All right, there we got a, a good little pile of charcoal in there. Let's fire it up. It's going to be tight, but I think we'll be able to make that work. All right, a few more pieces in there. We're going to let those uh, catch on. I'm going to add my front door back in here again. Loosely set it in front so we still get some good airflow. But I try to retain some of that heat just a little bit better. And we have our dome fully preheated here now. We're just over 600 degrees, 605. I got my door on there uh, while we're preheating. It definitely seems to help uh, keep that temp up. If I pull it off, it'll slowly drop down. So I'm gonna leave the door on until we are ready to put our pizza in. So let's start making our New York style pepperoni pizza. And like I always do, I'm going to start off with a bit of my double O flour in my shaker bottle. And I'm going to prep my pizza right on my wooden peel here. So I'm going to lay down a nice little sprinkle of my flour. Get it on my hands. And get it on my dough. All right, so a little flour on top, and I don't want to necessarily save that really puffy crust like I do on my uh, more Neapolitan-style pizza, so I'm just going to press this out a little more evenly. I'm still going to leave a little bit of a crust there, but nothing like I would traditionally do on the, uh, the Neapolitan-style. Flip this over. This is a very wet dough, so it's a little bit more difficult to work with. But we will get there. I have not attempted a pizza quite this size yet in the dome. Certainly haven't tried it with charcoal. So I think it'll be a fun little experiment. See what we can uh, see what we can make of this pie. I'm excited. I do love myself a nice uh, pepperoni, the New York style, a little bit crispier, lower bake, and uh, loads of pepperoni. And we got ourselves just some good old-fashioned pizza sauce here. Go with a few tablespoons, spread it out, almost straight to the edge. There we are, looks good to me. Next, I've just got some dried herbs here. Oregano, basil, sage, thyme. Give this a light sprinkle just for an extra little depth of flavor here. Next up, I've got some fresh grated Parmigiano Reggiano. Little goes a long way with this stuff, but it will certainly add some good flavor. So I'll just go a light, uh, light layer of the Parmesan. And then we got ourselves some fresh grated low moisture mozzarella. Give ourselves a good dose here. All right, there we got all of our mozzarella laid down. 
I am going to give this the old jiggle test. All right, I think we're good. Got to finish this off fast here so we don't stick. And uh, some good old fashioned pepperoni. Don't skip on the good stuff here. We'll layer the pepperoni on top, as you would see in the classic New York style. That way we get that nice kind of cuppage from the pepperoni, the little grease pockets inside. Super delicious. All right, and there we go. New York style pepperoni loaded up, ready to go into the dome. I'm gonna pull my door off here. Give this the old jiggle. We're moving. Let's work fast and get this in here. All right, there we go. So definitely a tight squeeze, but it is in there. All right, we got our New York style pep in here, pretty close to our charcoal on the one side. Temps dropped a little bit down on us here, but I don't think that'll be too much of an issue. Let it firm up just a little bit more yet here before we attempt to give it any sort of a spin. a little bit easier than it wants to pull. That's okay. There we go. So we've got some nice color on our front edge here. Starting to cup real nice on that pepperoni. Slide the door on here just for a second. See if we can bounce that heat up just a touch. close to being done here. Decent color underneath there. I think we're good to come off. And there we have it. We got our New York style pepperoni pizza, hot out of the Gosney Dome, cooked with a, uh, a charcoal fire today. Looks good to me. Just gonna grab a little more of our herbs here. Give it a light little sprinkle over top. And while we're nice and hot, we're gonna add a nice little touch of Mike's Hot Honey here. If you haven't tried uh, 
pot honey out. I, I definitely suggest it. Goes amazing on a nice pepperoni pizza like this. Just gonna give her a nice little drizzle. Not a ton, just a little uh, little something from the hot honey here. Super good. Ready to grab a slice. So let's cut her up. It's a nice uh, crispy crust on there as you can hear. And there we are. The slice is catching my eye right here. Looks good to me. Got some nice color on the bottom there. It's going to be a little bit toasty. Let's give her the old classic fold. Holds up nicely. Cheers. Mm. Delicious, delicious. So good, what can I say? I mean, you got all that pepperoni, you got the cheese, you got those nice herbs on there, a nice uh, low bake on there. Finish off with that hot honey, gives it a little sweetness, a little bit of kick. And uh, I couldn't help but throw down that whole slice. Super tasty and uh, such a great slice of pizza. Uh, if you haven't tried it out, I highly recommend it. I do appreciate you guys for sticking around for another one today. Another delicious pizza out of the Gosney Dome. This time we did a little different. We used the charcoal base. No wood, no propane, strictly lump charcoal. Worked out quite well. I'm definitely happy with those results. And if you want to hang around and see what we uh, come up with next week, hit that subscribe button and uh, like this video if you enjoyed it. And feel free to get out there and grow up some goodness for yourselves.